know, we want to win our first game. We want to hit the ground running this season. Dean, another milestone, the start of your first league campaign as Bristol City head coach. How are you feeling? Excited, yeah, ready. I feel we've had a real good pre-season. Um, in terms of the incomings that have come in, I'm very pleased with. There's a nice spirit building now as well. And, um, training this week, the standard's been really high because the new guys want to show how good they are and, and, and the guys already in the building want to, want to show the new players that they've got a bit as well. So the, the training's been good. Um, I feel relaxed and, and ready for tomorrow. I can't wait for the first game. You've got a mixture of experienced players, some of them come in this week. Uh, even for them, is the first day at training a bit like the first day at school? Yeah, I spoke to them, yeah. And um, it is, it's just like that. You, a few nerves. Chris Brunt's coming towards the end of his career now, but buzzing to be involved in, uh, in the championship at a big club where he feels there's a real chance of promotion this season. So. Yeah, they, they feel them nerves on the first day. They're quickly gone. We, we make sure they get, we get them nerves out of them early doors with a couple of fun games in the warm ups, just getting to getting them used to the group. We, 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 we're trying to build a, a spirit with difficult through COVID because we can't really socialise together, obviously. So the players sort of arrive at training, train, and, and go back home again. So we've got to find ways within training, uh, different ways to, to make sure that we're building that spirit, which is going to stand us in good stead as the season goes on. In terms of the squad, how tough will selection be for? It's first league game. It's a great headache to have, I've got to be honest with you. Um, yeah, we'll, we'll, we'll have a look at who's available in terms of, you know, some of the new players coming in maybe won't be as, as fit as as, as as the other guys because the different pre-seasons, Chris Brunson at a club, for example, Chris Martin, same. Even the two Fulham lads of, uh, in Alfie and Sess have, have probably only had a couple of weeks of training and, and 45 minutes match time. So, you know, we want to win our first game. We want to hit the ground running this season. At the same time, we've got to be a little bit smart with, with, with where we see certain players and we have to judge them all individually with that. Given the transfer window is so long, uh, are you happy with where it is? If, you, if it was shut tomorrow, would you be happy? In terms of the incomings, yeah. I'd be, yeah I'd be, if the window closed now with the incomings, I'd be delighted. I think we still need to trim the squad. I've spoke to certain, some players already around um, how much game time they might get this season and maybe go and get in game time elsewhere. We, we saw that with, with Sammy Smodic. Um, and the squad's too big. We want to trim it down if we can. Um, and we'll have to see as the window goes on if, if, if we can do that. In terms of the, the squad available, we, we know Nathan Baker certainly out until this Christmas, but Liam Walsh, Joe Williams and Callum Adada, who came off playing for Ireland, how are they? Yeah, they're, they're all moving in the right direction. They're a couple of weeks away, hopefully. They're not, you know, not going to be too long, but at the same time, they'll miss the game tomorrow. Callum, it's a frustrating one because he's, he's gone and played for Ireland and obviously picked up a little muscle injury. So. As I say, nothing, nothing too bad, but you know, we missed the commentary game. Dean, we start league season sadly without our supporters uh, in person. Uh, have you a message for them? Well, we we can't wait to have them back here in Ashton Gate supporting the team, which is what they love to do, of course. We, we can't wait to be travelling around the country on them away days together. Um, my promise to them, as I said right from day one, is we'll, we'll put a team out on the pitch uh, that they can relate to, that they'll be proud of. And um, we can't win every game. Well, we can win every game. We might not win every game. Um, we certainly might not be able to play well in every game so it's in them moments where you, you need to dig things out it might not always be pretty but our aim is to, is to put in performances that, that will make them excited uh, even from home watching it on the stream we feel their support so um, as I say can't wait for the first game tomorrow and, uh, and keep supporting the boys we really feel that 